Welcome to our new channel, The Romany Pirates. We are Emma and Reese, a free spirited married couple, who with our little dog Daisy have been travelling around in our van discovering the UK and Europe for almost 10 years. So join us on our unplanned adventures and our bid for a freer life as we renovate our newest van, discover new places across the UK and take on the brand new venture of Canal Line. We got time on our side. Morning guys. Morning. So uh, welcome back to Romany Pirates. We are in North Wales now. Uh, we've arrived at Colwyn Bay. Uh, it's a lovely little town, uh, nice beach and stuff. Uh, so we've just been and had some lunch. Um, just going to head back to the van now and start exploring Snowdonia. So lots to see, lots to show you. Um, yeah, hope you enjoy the episode. We got everything here. At least to just arrived in Conway. Um, free parking. Free bonus. parking. Bonus. That's what you want, isn't it? <laughs> free parking. So yeah, it looks a nice little place. This is where the little tiny house, that uh, Britain's tiniest house, is here. So I can't wait to go see. So we're gonna have um, we're gonna have a look at that. Here we are at the uh, smallest house in Britain. Um, we'll, uh, I don't think you can go inside, I'm not too sure yet, so we'll have a little look. This would fit me alright, look. I've got loads of them. This is. It's like in our van. This is really tiny, isn't it? Yeah, but it's, it's only probably as big as a tiny house, isn't it? It's as big as a van. This is amazing. Look at this. This is like my dream home. Ooh. I don't know how easy it is for you to sort of see this through the railings, but apparently there didn't used to be safety railings here um, originally. She's been listening to this little tape that's going on in the background. But there's literally just enough space to get a single bed in. Um, and apparently the person that lived here before um, was six foot three and was eventually forced to move out when the house was condemned by the council. So it's, uh, yeah, really interesting. But this is like my dream home. I would absolutely love something like this. We were just heading back to the uh, van now. What a beautiful little place. Reminds me of uh, York, if anybody's been to York. 
uh, very similar to that, really nice place. just arrived at the Norwig, I think that's how you pronounce it, quarry, um, which is a slate quarry here in the north of Wales. Uh, there is a museum here, um, but it's about five o'clock uh, now, so it is shut, but it, it looks... It feels really eerie. Yeah, it's, it's really it's, weird. there's nobody else here, which I suppose is the best time to see it, isn't it, really? Yeah. The crowds have all gone home. Uh, they shut the gates at eight, so it gives us a couple of hours to have a look uh, and explore. Pretty cool place. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun So we're just going to go check out this uh, lake um, Just been faffing about with the parking for half an hour It's so frustrating sometimes because you try and put money on and it spits your coin back at you and then you try and pay by card and it's just told me that the parking that I've requested has been expired but <laughs> most places are pretty quick to then send you a fine through but there's not much else we can do really. <laughs> nah, we tried to pay but anyway, um, after faffing about with that we're going to go check out this lake which it says you can swim in uh, but I'm not going to do that tonight. It's too cold isn't it? Thought you were into cold water swimming. I am, anyway. but it's, it's thought you'd be right in there, jump in. It's gonna be like ice. We've got new towels, but damn, you'll enjoy it. Have a lovely. <laughs> okay. I might do a bit of wild swimming before we go on. We'll see. Let's have a look at this lake. This is nice, isn't it? Look at this, Daisy. Easy. Want to go for a walk? Should we go for a walk? Yeah! <laughs> Let's see what's up here. This is really nice. It really does feel like something out of Lord of the Rings. It's beautiful. find Emma. There's Daisy. Sorry, Emma won't be far away. There she is. So if you need some slate for a roof, this is the place to come, <laughs> innit? Look at all that. Or for a windowsill. For a windowsill. This is the place. There's no sign. Nothing that says you must not pick up any slate, so I've only picked up a few little ones. Just a few little shards. Yeah, just to go around the window frame, it's a memory in the van. We can tile this window frame with it, it's a memory of coming It's in just there. everywhere, isn't it? Yeah, there's loads of it, look. He thinks I'm going to be arrested by, I don't know who. You might be. MI5 are coming after me. <laughs> oh, look at that water. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but that is properly crystal clear, isn't it? I just really wish I could jump in there. If it were warm, it would be a nice warm day, it'd be lovely that. Get mist as well. Yeah, coming over the mountain. It's not picking up on camera, but it's... This is so cool, isn't it? Well, a little bridge. Look at that little bridge. Daisy don't like bridges. so cool, though. It would have been very loud, wouldn't it, when it were running? Oh, yeah. It would have been really loud. Over 3,000 people, it said he had worked here. 3,000 men in the heyday. Amazing place. So that were, uh, that were really good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. But it's really cold. Yeah, it's really cold. You're not even on camera, look. There we go. It's really cold and we're losing uh, light for park up. So. Yeah, we need to make a move now and find a park up for and the I night. And I need my dinner. Yeah. That I've just bought from Lidl. What are we having? Um, the, um, 
fajitas. Fajitas, yeah. Fajitas. But with um, pretend chicken. And then I'm going to do one of my paellas tomorrow night, aren't I? Yeah. So we'll head back to the van now, find a park up for the night, and uh, yeah, settle down. Find the right. really difficult uh, to find that's the first time we've ever really struggled in it in like 10 years i think wales has just got more difficult since um covid hasn't it it seems to have there's a lot of places that we'd normally go to before where they're either barriered off or there's a height barriers put in place um sorry daisy wants the dinner <laughs> one minute um or they've got like um, no parking signs up it's changed uh, quite a bit hasn't it? but anyway we managed to find somewhere where daisy's making a is that you, Daisy? She's waiting for a dinner. Uh, so we're just going to cook some food and uh, having some fajitas, and fajitas. I'm trying not to chop my fingers off because I'm watching what I'm doing really carefully. Cause I cut myself yesterday. At home, we have really rubbish knives that we've had for years, and I actually forgot what it was like to have a new knife. Um, but we, we went to the first IKEA, didn't we, the other day, which was really traumatic. It's, it was massive the one we went to about five times the size of the one we normally go to um and uh, come here um and we faced ikea and went round well i faced ikea and went round you sat in the ta in the car and in the van sorry and dealt with daisy but i had to go around on my own and i honestly there were a point about halfway around i thought i'm never actually going to get out of here i'm going to be stuck here forever but anyway i bought some new knives and they're really 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 sharp so i've got to be really careful while i'm cooking now get your dinner We'll get Daisy some dinner, get our dinner on. Um, we're not in a very picturesque place, but nah, nevertheless, the town looks nice, it's though. okay. Um, we'll still enjoy ourselves, won't we? Yeah, of course we will. So, good morning. Um, we've had. Uh, We've had a couple of little disasters this morning, but we're heading up to uh, Snowdonia now again. Um, we did get a really good night's sleep, which was good, wasn't it? Yeah. We're all right. Um, and the place where we were turned out to be a little bit more picturesque than we thought. There was a nice big lake next to where we were when we woke up in the morning, um, which was really lovely. Um, but we have had um, Reese's phone charger broke. So he's had to face going into Tesco's, um, which he really doesn't like. <laughs> Tesco's, all supermarkets, not just Tesco's. I don't like any busy places or it just stresses me out. So he's faced that, faced the trauma, got himself a new charger, um, ready to uh, charge the phone up so we can carry on filming. Um, and then also um, the hinge on the bed has broken, um, which the, it's a big metal hinge and it's just snapped in half. Um, so I'm not sure why that's happened, but it must just be because the vintage and maybe a bit worn. Um, so luckily we've got a spare at home, so we'll fix that when we get back. Um, and what else? Oh, my, I've put my shoulder out, um, doing my hair this morning. Um, I'm in absolute agony on my shoulder. Um, so I've stuffed myself full of a load of medication. Um, it's not unusual for me. I do like have problems with my bones and stuff, so I do sometimes put me my body out and whack a little bit um but yeah just putting my hair up this morning and it went and i ended up having to lay on the van floor <laughs> and reese is like do you want to go home it's, no 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 we're not that soft um so we're gonna head up towards snow Dory, but we're gonna have a stop off and just get a coffee and relax a little bit it's been quite stressful this morning <laughs> so we'll see you when we get there 
any storm Before I sleep Hear the crickets, see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight pulled up for a bit of lunch um, we're not far from Mount Snowdon uh, we're quite deep into Snowdonia National Park now um, so we're just going to uh, make a coffee have some lunch um, and uh, yeah check out this lovely little spot we've found Thank you. That's so I'm just making uh, a nice brew I'm just enjoying the, uh, the view from See, look at that for a view. This is why we did this seat where we did it, isn't it? Yeah, got a perfect little seat there. We did do without a shower cubicle, which I know a lot of people will say is a must, but for us, we did without a, sh a toilet and a shower for so long, didn't we? So it's not really a big deal for us doing without the shower. We've got a portable one that hooks on the back of the van, and that's enough. Um, they were more important for me to have like a massive bed in here and to have a seat where you could just look out at that and unwind and relax. Yeah, we were just saying, weren't we? Like, um, we're not the type of channel that um, kind of go looking for adventure or deliberately creating drama. Yeah, creating any yeah. drama just for like clicks or likes or whatever. This is just how we live. You know, we get out in the van when we can. Sometimes it's a um, couple, of, couple of days yeah. and sometimes it's weeks on end, you know. Um, and then obviously we're doing the boat up. Um, and we live in a, we live in a cottage. Um, and, and so we just... Some days, some trips that like when you're watching this channel, sometimes it'll be more fun and more exciting than other times. Um, but that's just reality. That's what van life's about, you know, it's just... Yeah. That's so, just reality. We're saying when we're like this, I don't think this episode's kind of as exciting or funny as like when we were up in Scotland. But this is this is us, you know. Sometimes it's just sat enjoying a beautiful view and having a brew. Yeah. Um, and we're not what we're trying to do as well is not pretend to be something we're not, you know. So what what you see is kind of what you get, and just trying to be as relaxed yeah. as possible, aren't we? Which is quite hard on camera, really, and it? it's like and yeah, and it's if... quite difficult when you're talking to a camera just to be yourself. But I think we're getting better at it. And I think if, if we have like dramas that happen, if we're all, not dramas, but like if, if things happen to us like they have done today where the hinge is broken on the bed and I've really hurt my shoulder, you know, we're just... And we're I have just, to go to Tesco's. <laughs> <laughs> we just try and get on with it. We just get on with it and we just... It's not a major drama, you know. I've, I've sort of... Uh, it's another story, but I've had bad health for a lot of years um, and and really kind of struggled um, with not being well and not being able to get out very much um, so for me it's not about making a drama out of nothing it's about going out enjoying yourself having a good time you know sometimes just relaxing which I think is what most people imagine van life to be is to get away from mm -hmm. the stress and the worry and all that sort of thing and then you know with some channels you, that we've watched you know for years um, they, they make sort of drama out of nothing you know you, the, there'll be a title that's a really dramatic title and then you'll watch it and actually it's not like that at all you know um and so i don't like that sort of thing you know each to their own but i don't like that sort of thing i'd just rather just be ourselves um and like Lee says what you see is what you get with us. and we don't we don't deliberately like so we're not deliberately looking for adventures just for the channel all we're doing is living as we normally yeah. live and then recording it, yeah, aren't we, basically, exactly, yeah. just filming what we normally yeah. do. Um, so yeah, so we're just going to finish our nice brew, um, sit here for a little while longer and then head further into Snowdonia, um, check out Snowdon Mountain and stuff like that. These cups are really good by the way, if you're uh, getting yeah. these metal cups. People don't rate them because you burn your hands on them, but I find they're really good because they keep your hands nice and cosy. Yeah, they do, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's just lovely here though, isn't it? You should show them the broken hinge. That's a disaster you could film, though. Yeah, I'll show you that. <laughs> and the title could be Van Falling Apart. <laughs> Join us next time on Romany Pirates as we head deeper into Snowdonia. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. 
I expected it to have some kind of sign on saying welcome to Mount Snowdon, but it, it doesn't. Yeah. We've driven backwards and forwards. Trying, to find, it, try, trying to find one of the biggest mountains in Britain. Road. See, it's exactly right, isn't it? Relaxation in my view.